Today's a great day. Yeah, today's a great day unless we die. Unless we die. But it would be by giant robot. Yeah, Megabots HQ, and they are about to release their new big Megabot, and they've made a chopping machine extension to it, apparently. It's an upgrade inspired by your robot. <laughs> yeah, and that's just like, I, yeah. And I'm gonna get to drive it and chop stuff up. We still haven't seen it. That's they won't right. show it to us. At this point, we ha they haven't revealed anything. Um, mm. So you haven't seen what the robot looks like. You no. You have no idea how it works. Uh, we're going to get your reactions. And then we're going to learn Your about reactions too, and Norm. Reactions you haven't too. seen it either. Not the new version. Um, and we're going to also learn how they're ba building this giant robot for robot combat sports. Yeah. It's insane. It'll be a pretty great day. I can't believe we're here. Are you ready for a... Uh, Giant version of your chopping machine? I don't know. Can I be ready for this thing? Let's well, get ready. Ready. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. But while they're setting it up, you know, we're here. Yeah. So I think we're going to chat with Matt and Gee, the guys who run Megabots, and learn what went into building that thing over there. Yeah, what the heck are they doing here? This is a crazy place. Guy, Matt, thank you so much for having Simone and I here. Yeah. We are yes. stoked. The robot looks incredible. Yeah. And the rest of this workshop looks incredible too. It's, it's where it all comes together. Uh, Welcome this to is the Mech Bay. You know? the, the Mech Bay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is my first time here. Now, we first met you guys like almost two years ago now at Maker Faire, and you yeah. guys had, what was it, the Mark, Mark II? Two. Yeah, so we've made the Mark I, Mark II, Mark III. The Mark I became the Mark II, um, so that we reused the torso and the arm. Uh, but the Mark II is like a pretty basic machine. The Mark III is like this whole other beast, like super high-end, military-grade, waterproof, like everything. Um, so the Mark III is like an $800,000 machine, right? All told with labor, it's like a two and a half million dollar robot. Yeah, so there's like a super advanced control system. It has closed loop position control on it. So the robot knows, you know, how it's moving in space. Whereas the Mark II, it was just kind of like, well, pull a lever and it'll just start moving. So yeah. the robot has real intelligence now. Uh, and that allows us to do much more exciting and dynamic Well, that's great that a giant robot <laughs> has intelligence. Yeah. That sounds awesome. It's awareness of where its limbs are, right? As right. opposed to just putting power in, mm -hmm. moving an arm up and dropping it down. Yeah. Right. Like, exactly. That's the kind of feedback you need because yeah. you'll be controlling it. You guys are me inside it. Right. Exactly. As exactly. long as it doesn't have awareness of where my limbs are, right. I'm okay. Yeah. Tracking yeah. system yeah. coming. Not yet. Yeah. Oh no, we're, we're working on the whole space. tracking we'll system. For it. And yeah. Brain yeah. And, yeah. So, right. can you walk us through like the design of one of these things? What happens here? It's not just fabrication, but you guys also work on all the individual systems. Right. <clears throat> what are the goals, and how does it all begin? The design starts with okay, we want two pilots. Right? We want them protected from whatever the robot can dish out. And then we build out the torso around the size of the pilot compartment. We build out the legs to support that torso, the base to support those legs and that torso. The power demand comes from like, how many things do you want moving at once? How quickly do you want it moving? Right? And so now instead of 24 horsepower, we're at like 400 horsepower. Right? Like that's the amount of power that we need to have like human-like speed in a 10-ton machine, yeah. which is really what we're going and, for. And because of the size of the valves in the, the new robot, the Mark III, each joint actually has as much power as the entire old Mark II has yeah. for its whole body. But the Crazy. ultimate goal is like, the Mark III should prove that it's safe and awesome, right, to have this kind of robot combat, because what we're doing is we're setting up for, okay, we figured out the technology, we're gonna make a giant kit of parts, and now we're gonna make eight different robots to compete in a league, right? So this is like the, proto the real prototype for what the sport actually needs. So you wanna create your own competitors? Competitors will use the technology platform that we create. Mm. So essentially we say, we've built one giant fighting robot, here's how to do it. We've proven out the sensors and the actuators and the control system and you know, here's the wiring harness. This will allow other teams to build their robots super quickly 
and get them on the road right away. Buy a kit, buy a blueprint. It's going to be guaranteed awesome and right. safe. Megabot maker kit coming That's right. up. Exactly. Yeah, Christmas up. 2017, $49.99. <laughs> Target. Nine, 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 nine. Move the decimal a little bit. Perfect gift for your kids. Is it more difficult to make it awesome or safe? It's got to be sa it's safe, more, right? Safe. Yeah, that's a... Safe is more because awesome is like you automatically. Everyone here is super inspired by you know the video games and movies and all that kind of stuff that you know we consumed as kids. And so awesome is like, we're pre-programmed for awesome. We're like, let's go, let's do it. Giant chainsaw, yes! Um, and so then, and then you go, okay, but then how do you make it safe? And so... And increasingly everything is custom. Yeah, right. Like, you're not going to find oh, off-the-shelf yeah. parts. That's not true. Oh. Um, because as we get to the scale, our parts look like machine tool parts. Our parts look like ah. excavator parts. Our parts okay. look like all of these other industries that operate at this scale right. already. So part of... The reason it's so big is because we're just using a lot of common off-the-shelf parts that drive our costs way down. Yeah. So, yeah, because you have a bunch of weapons around here. That <laughs> yeah. chainsaw, for example. There's is, no industry right. that uses that, is there? Yeah. Is there, there an is. industry that uses that? That is um, <laughs> landscaping and ah, forestry. Of course. Yep. In fact, we take a lot of our, our weapons from that. The forestry industry produces some really hilariously frightening uh, <laughs> tools. Uh, that are awesome for us to borrow. Um, so weapons, custom weapons, obviously we saw the blades out there, Simone. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, they look like the blades you had on your cutting <laughs> robot, except yeah. scaled up. Can you yeah. talk about how you guys made those blades? Yeah, um, those were easy <laughs> compared to all the other things we do. Uh, so basically they are three quarter inch thick um, A572 steel. Uh, so we laser cut them, right? You, they, you, it, it turns out if you have a 5,000 watt laser cutter, you Can't just press go. <laughs> <laughs> or some of the 40 watt in our office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was scaled up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. We can cut cardboard. Like nothing. It yeah. took about a half hour to cut out those oh, knives. Oh gosh. Yeah. But <laughs> are you, have you considered equipping the Megabot with with a laser cutter? With a laser cutter. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> Great for the audience, just shoot laser. Yeah. I think it audience. might have been mentioned in a planning meeting at some right. point. Yeah? Yeah, that was, you must get a lot of unsolicited advice or like yeah. all weapon the time, suggestions. Yeah. All but the like, time. that's part of the joy of the brand, right? It's like, mm. We're built for people to get super excited about, you know what you should do? Oh, you should. It's, like, it's like the one you know, anime that I used to watch. And like, mm -hmm. it's super fun for people to engage in the brand that way. And so you know, that's, that's great for us. And we, and we love to do it here, too. Yeah. So my, yeah, my, that's what makes it so fun. My dream would be like, you come out with like Megabots the video game, right? And mm -hmm. you like play like MechWarrior or any of those other games where like you design components that are influenced by real life. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. like, maybe the winner gets like their own robot built for them right. with all this custom stuff. Like, wouldn't that be just amazing? And they get a fight in the tournament, right? right. That would be the ultimate dream. You go from buying a video game getting good the at shelf, it. you know, at a store, getting good at it, training up, and then getting a real robot built and then like piloting it. That's kind of like in The Sims. Yeah. You're just like, yeah. I made a family, and suddenly you have a family in real life. <laughs> now I gotta take it. care of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You gotta feed them, you gotta find a couch. You yeah, just purchased your right. responsibility. <laughs> living the dream, guys. Yeah. Living the dream. And Simone, you're gonna be able to live out your dream. Yes, a, a dream I didn't even know I had. <laughs> I wasn't robot pilot. smart enough to have this dream because who thinks about that, who dreams about being able to chop up stuff with a giant robot? Oh. I wasn't creative enough for that. So here you guys have some cool stuff for Simone's shop. Yeah, yep. yeah, we got a, we got we got a, a, a bunch thing. of surprises out there. Ooh. Surprises. I think you're really Let's go check it out. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Simone, not a bad day. This is a freaking great day. <laughs> I'm so tired, also so happy. I'm gonna have so many great dreams about chopping up random stuff in a giant robot. A, uh, uh, a tiki hut? 
The Tiki Hut. Yeah, I think maybe that one was the most fun because it crumbled, like it really crushed. Or I think maybe the oven. The oven just collapsed. Uh, yeah. We were able to shoot some high-speed video. You can just see it crumple. And I love when you just swipe it off, clean the board. Yeah, and I, I, I realize that like building things, you know, breaking things is almost as fun as building things. You're going to construct things. To destruct things. To destruct things. <laughs> Uh, we gotta found a company just so we can use that as its slogan. Well, it could also be the new slogan for Megabots. Yeah, they do both those things pretty well. Construction for destruction. <laughs> Pay us, and you can get the rights for that IP. Well, we also want to thank the team here at Megabots, not just Matt and Guy who invite us here, but also all the support staff, everyone here working behind the scenes, to make yeah. sure we are safe. So this is crazy. Like, we had our first call a week ago, and they were like and we were talking about making a chopping machine extension for it, and then they just made it happen in a week, and everything went super smoothly. Like, the robot worked perfectly, they got all the stuff that we chopped up. Yeah, this is freaking awesome. And there's more footage from today's shoot, both on Simone, your YouTube channel, yep. and also at the Megaboss channel. They're filming this whole thing as part of their documentary series. You gotta check that out. So cool. Yeah, we'll put links in the description. And I guess we'll have to now dream about giant robots for the future. Yeah, and oh. left shoulder yaw.